How's it going everybody? You're watching Then About Tech. So now that iOS 13 is finally out to the public and you're probably running on your iPhone right now, I decided to make this video showing you the final iOS 13 tips, tricks and hidden features. I actually have a video like that on this channel on the same subject, but actually that video is a couple months old and we were still running beta versions. So then I decided to make this video on the final official version of iOS 13. But of course, everything that I'm going to show you in this video is new, exclusive, and there's nothing repeated from the old video. So don't worry about that. So without further ado, let's go ahead and begin. Okay, guys, so let's get started because I have quite a lot of awesome tips, tricks and hidden features to show you and the first one is actually in the maps app in the apple maps not google maps and we generally don't give a lot of attention to this application but it is actually getting much much better have a look at this so i'm here in san francisco okay i'm navigating here and then i put a pin right there and then if i tap on it and then we have the option to look around, which is a new feature uh, similar to Google Street View. But actually, uh, I think the image quality is better. Uh, the navigation, it is much smoother. It's so much smoother, actually. Uh, when you're moving around, the, the way the cars and the people in the buildings moves when you're moving around, it is just much more refined and smooth, which is expected on anything by Apple. And then the way you navigate, you just tap on it. It shows where you tapped. And then it goes straight there, super easily, super smooth, as you guys can see. I just love this navigation. And actually, if we tap on, if we tap on this icon right here uh, on the arrows, it gives you this awesome new way to interact with it where you can actually like move around, as you guys can see, and then it is actually updating right there at the top. So have a look at this. I'm moving here, I'm seeing where I am on the map, and I'm seeing in real time right here uh, where I am on the, on the street view. And super cool, if I move around like that, as you guys can see, it's moving around here as well, the reference, uh, the position I'm looking. So that's super awesome. It is much better to navigate like that where you can see both at the same time. I just love this new feature. Next hidden feature I wanna show you is in the Notes app. So I'm here in the Notes app, and now you can actually search for an image on the search bar how cool is that if there's an image right here like a document a drawing anything there is text on it an actual image you can actually search for that image search for the words and it's actually gonna find the image for you this is amazing so let's say uh, I have this drawing right here uh, of a falcon peregrine. This is a complete drawing. There's no text on it or anything. And as you guys can see, I just typed peregrine right here and it found the image. And as you guys can see, there's no text. It's just um, a drawing and, a, and I actually drew, I actually written uh, peregrine right there. And then it recognizes the words. And then as, as I'm searching for it, it just finds right there. This is super cool. And as I mentioned, it works with documents, receipts or anything. So any image you have right here saved on your notes that actually has uh, words on it, you can search and you can find it. Now, since we're here on the Notes app, I wanna show you some of the new ways you can navigate and select text here in iOS 13. So I'm just gonna tap a random thing. It doesn't, these words don't mean anything, of course. So I'm just tapping and, and doing anything crazy right here. Uh, and as you guys can see, we have new ways to navigate. So let's say you wanna select a text. Uh, the way we used to do before would be like tapping and selecting and everything like that. But now you can actually just tap and hover on the words you want to select and it just selects automatically. So have a look at this, I'm tapping and then I'm moving around and then I have just selected this first row. How cool is that? We I don't actually have to select or anything like that. and it's done. Another awesome change right here is that if you want to change something that you misspelled or you have a typo or something, anyone like fine tune your, your cursor and moving around, instead of actually tapping and holding to bring up the magnifying glass, all you have to do now is tap on the cursor itself. And as you guys can see, can you see it? Like I'm actually moving it around. It gets bigger and it gets highlighted and I can move it around and put exactly on the word I want. So that gives much more precision and it is a much better way to actually select text. And another awesome change when you're editing text is that now you have a new menu right here on any, actually any application that uh, accepts text. So all you have to do is single tap with three fingers as you're seeing. So a single tap with three fingers and we open up this new menu. So I can undo, I can redo, I can copy, I can paste, I can cut. So I have this new menu and of course they're grayed out because there's nothing selected, but I have here this new menu and you can use it as much as you want. There's a new awesome hidden feature right here on your settings. So just open it up 
and scroll down to phone, this is truly amazing. If you scroll down and tap on phone, we have the new option called silence unknown callers. So calls from unknown numbers will be silenced, sent to voicemail and displayed on your recent list. So if, 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 if somebody calls you and you don't have them on your contact or anything like that, so if they are actually unknown and you haven't previously talked to that person, to that caller, uh, it will actually automatically silence and after it stops ringing, it's gonna go to the voicemail and be there as a missed call so of course you can see that later uh, so then if you just enable that that's super cool it, it, it's much more private for you now the next trick I want to show you is right here in the photos app okay I'm gonna open this video right here this is a two second video all right uh, and of course we have new edits we have new way to edit them and change the color the alignment you can flip it around and everything like that but what on everyone knows is that if you tap edit on any video and you start trimming it okay so you can normally trim it let's say that instead of one two seconds I want one second or whatever uh, so when you trim it before in iOS 12 and before it would duplicate the video so you would have the long video and the cut one but now in iOS 13 it just replaces to the new one so it's super cool so you hit done and of course it's gonna save the new video and now it's just one second and as you guys can see it didn't duplicate so there's just one one second video that's it and this is super awesome I just love this because before everything was duplicated and I hated it and if you like change your mind you can just open it up again hit edit again and revert to the original so you can just tap revert revert to original and then there you have it you have the two second video back again. Now, since we're talking about iOS 13, there's no way to not mention the dark mode, but actually I wanna show you something a little bit different that not everyone knows. So if you scroll down right here and go to display and brightness, okay, that's the normal menu, you activate uh, 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 dark mode. So I'm in light right now, I can manually go to dark, that's easy, but we have the, the new feature right here that we can actually automatically select uh, when it changes from light to dark. If I hit this, it will only be uh, manual. So manually light, manually dark. If I select it and I actually enable it, I have this option that, for example, is gonna be light during the day and dark at night. So as you guys can see, light until since sunset. After sunset, it will get dark. Or you can actually custom schedule. So let's say uh, I want it to be dark after 9 p.m. and then to get light again at 6 a.m. So only when it's late, I'm going to bed, I want it to be dark. So that's super cool because you can automatically select when it gets dark, when it gets light, and I actually have this feature turned on on my iPhone. Okay, so let's get back to my crazy note right here that we were looking at it just a second ago. And uh, on my last video, I mentioned the swipe typing, and we all know typing with swiping and gestures and everything like that. But actually, on that old video, I said something wrong. I said that after uh, input, after you input any word, you have to tap on the space bar to actually go next. But you don't. Uh, it does it automatically. So if I say, for example, testing. Uh, new mode. As you guys can see, I'm just swiping and swiping and swiping and it recognizes when one word finishes and the other one begins. So it actually makes sense. Uh, this swipe typing met method is actually much faster than the normal tap typing. Now let's talk about emojis. So let's open the iMessages and as you know, uh, now in iOS 13, we have like a profile here on the messages. So if you tap on the option button and then edit name and photo, you can actually select uh, an image, a name, a surname, and then if you wanna share your name and photo, and to who, so contacts, or, contacts only or always ask. So we have this feature right here. But not only that, now in iOS 13, Memoji is much smarter and it can do much, much more. So if I open a new converse, conversation right here, uh, as you guys can see on the keyboard, uh, if I tap on my emojis, I'm gonna have right here going to all the way to the end, I'm gonna have uh, my frequently used and then I'm gonna have some Memoji stickers as you guys can see. I don't know why there's this unicorn right there, it's a bug, but uh, I have some stickers right here that I can use normally, I can tap on it and then I can send and then it's gonna go as a sticker. That's fine, okay, that's super cool. Uh, but what not everyone knows is that of course, uh, once you change your Memoji, it's gonna update here as well. So if you're a girl or whatever, it's gonna say, it's gonna be your image right here. But also there's something very very cool and that is because this also works with WhatsApp So you can actually use those stickers on WhatsApp and it looks great Let me show you how that looks so then if I open my WhatsApp right here I open any conversation uh, and then I tap on uh, on the emojis one more time uh, I, You can have here all your frequently used and as you can see it sends as an or is a normal WhatsApp emoji So you can send it like that 
you can send like that. It's super amazing and it actually goes to your stickers list as well and it just works perfectly. Look at that. You can have instant stickers that actually represent you. They're individual, customized. I just love them. And actually my fiance is going to think I'm crazy because I just sent a ton of senseless emojis to her. Okay, but that's fine. Another hidden feature that is super cool is that if, if I'm here on a web page, for example, and I'm going to take a screenshot, all right, so I took the screenshot, that's fine, I opened it up, and then uh, as you guys can see, I have the bottom and the top bar covering the, the screen, covering the picture, because those are Safari top and bottom. All you, guys, all you can do, actually, is go to the full page option, so if you tap on full page, it actually just like deletes those bars, and actually, you can see the whole page, look at this. You can see this all this whole page it just takes a screenshot of the whole page and you can select exactly what part you want so not only it deletes the top and bottom tabs and, and options and menus but it actually gives you the option to print screen the exactly part you want to screenshot the exact part you want i just love this feature and since we're talking about safari if you go to settings there's a new setting here in safari that i just love so scroll down to safari uh and then you're gonna see the option to Let's have a look at the bottom right here. So close tabs. This is really cool. So now close tabs is set to manually, but if I tap on it, I can actually set to close my tabs after one day, one week, or one month. It is super normal that every time you, we open Safari, we just jump into it, and then we just go ahead and add a, new, add a new tab, and just go add a new tabs and tabs and tabs that we just don't need. And with this feature, it's very nice because it actually can clean, for example, every month is okay. Because if you're not using those tabs after a month, you're never gonna use them again. So it's super cool to have that automatically updating and cleaning up your tabs uh, for you. So that's pretty much it guys. I hope you enjoyed those awesome, more than 10 awesome iOS 13 final tips, tricks, and hidden features. If you did, please make sure to go ahead and hit the like button down below. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. You can click on this bubble right there. And then, of course, go ahead and click on this video because I'm sure you're going to love it. That's the part one of my iOS 13 tips, tricks, and hidden features that I mentioned before. So I'll see you guys later, guys. Bye-bye.